Oh my God, I completely forgot that Married at First Sight was starting now. And I really, well, I have couples that I have hope for and couples that I'm a bit questionable. I think at the moment, at the moment, my hope is for Camille and Thomas. They seem to be a a really good match. And Ikechi and Emma, they also seem to be a good match. I love that this season the experts have gone with an older sort of a uh, cast than going for the young cast that then create a lot of tension and unnecessary drama so i can't wait for that anyway hey there it's valerie welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to click the like button subscribe turn on the notification bell for when i upload new videos and definitely leave a comment in this episode i'll be reviewing married at first sight season 18 episode one i don't know which rock i've been living under because i i didn't realize that they'd changed maps to tuesdays but hey it is what it is i'm going to try my best anyway um so you have the first couple that we meet are michelle and david michelle is 38 she's been single for six years um and she's saying she's looking for someone who's not just vanilla so she's got a specific title i assume that she's going after which means she's going she's looking to date or marry outside her race Hey, to each their own. David is Puerto Rican descent. He says he's always had a thing for, you know, white women with blue eyes and blonde hair. To each their own. To each their own. Um, no one can choose a partner for anyone except themselves. So I hope they work as a couple. Do I think they'll be an ideal match? I don't know. This is first impressions. Looking at them. Yeah, I think they're going to probably like what they see on first sight. But do I think they'll work long term? It seems like Mavs this time has gone for older people. So I hope because they're older, they will be able to sort of fully in, embrace the experiment. And there won't be gameplay like last season. So I can't wait to see what happens with them. Well, the second couple is Ikechi who's 41 he says you know he's an artist so he's into music he's into it seems djing he seems he's into playing music that's his outlet um and so he is you know looking for a wife someone he can take care of it sounds like he wants to be the nurturing loving caring husband um okay i get it because of his age he says though he tried to be cast for houston and he didn't make them make the uh well he didn't qualify or he wasn't matched for houston so he, he moved to chicago and suddenly they found him a match and it's like did he move to chicago because he wanted to work there or did he move there for married at first sight what is it we've had this happen before and hopefully that doesn't create any tension he's matched with emma who's 30 who's just turned 35 um it seems she's in some sort of healthcare profession i didn't quite get whether she's a dentist or i don't know whether, whether it's more cosmetic surgery she says she's of nigerian descent so i would assume it's either dentistry or something medical related because i don't know you know she said her dad really pushed her to have a career because he didn't want her to depend on anyone and so she at 35 is realized that you know she needs to find her match so she's there to find her match and hopefully the experts have matched her with someone who is her lifetime partner this year they've gone for all the participants i'm going to repeat and hopefully all the participants means that there's a greater chance of success because last season was a bucket load of crap and really i don't think as viewers we deserve to sit through another season like that so i'm hoping they have more success with this season i like the diversity in casts this season i have to say that i really like the diversity in cast not only in their age range but in their ethnicities as well um so the next couple is madison she's 29 so far she seems to be the youngest she's matched with alan they both seem like high achievers so they're both from divorced families um alan his mom was struggled financially growing up whereas his dad had the means so he's in finance and he's really worked hard he says to make sure that he's very comfortable um i like the fact that when he went to look for his suit he took his mom so he must have a really close relationship with his mom and any man that loves his mom will be an amazing husband because if they can love their mom then they can love another woman or any man that loves his sister you know he has the capacity to love somebody uh, another female um uh with Madison, I'm a bit concerned because of her age, whether she's ready. Uh, she says she grew up without her mom, so her dad was a parental figure in her life. Um, so she struggled really to connect with people because of that, but she's been in therapy. 
keyword i always recommend people go to therapy before they go on married at first sight so hopefully her being in therapy will help her sort of navigate the challenges that come with married at first sight alan he says you know he really wants a partner he feels is at a point in his life where he's ready he's 35 years old if he's not ready at 35 i don't know when he'll be ready because it's time for him to start his own family his mom was very emotional because you know she's wanted this for her child she's very proud of her son so she wants him to be happy so she's happy that you know he's finally going to meet his person so she's also going to love that person whoever they are and it's like oh that's sweet next couple is carla and joan joan is 36 years old he's from colombia and carla is 34 she's mexican descent um and so I think what they share in common, because most times you see couples that are matched and you question, why did the experts match these people? It doesn't make sense exactly why they matched people. But I think they are an ideal match because they both share their Latino heritage. Um, yes, they come from different countries that I get. Um, they Well, my only concern is the fact that you have Carla saying, you know, she's a big believer in the universe, that the universe brings to you what you want. Uh, Juan says, you know, he's a multifaceted person, so he has a lot of hobbies and interests. And so he wants, I think on first sight, they'll like what they see. They will like what they see. There's no doubt in that because they're both very good looking people. So there's no doubt that they will like what they see. I don't know how the free spirited person is going to get along with this person who has a way of doing things whereby he's got multiple talents or multiple hobbies. He's, you know, he's very well accomplished, which is good. He likes someone who shares the same heritage as him, which he's found in his partner that he's been matched with. But I don't know. Something makes me nervous about the fact that she's a free a free spirit i don't know because when someone says they're a free, free spirit in my opinion some of them come across as very chaotic they're very unorganized so i hope this is not what she means by being a free spirit um i like that she spoke to her mom because her mom apparently is in mexico visiting her grandma for her birthday so they were able to see her gown and see what she looks like which was amazing um the guys well he looks very good shuan looks very good i don't want to knock him he looks very good in his suit he did the last couple is Camilla and Thomas. Camilla is 32, Thomas is 42, 10 year age gap. That makes me nervous. I know guys age slower than girls, but still 10 years is quite a long gap. So hopefully that doesn't create a problem. Um, Camilla says she broke up, she grew up in a broken home. It seems everybody is or, well most of the people come from broken homes um and she sort of had to take on the role of a caretaker she's really wanting to meet her match she feels she's ready for marriage um and then her fiance is you know a twin so that's going to be interesting for her to sort of wrap her head around that thomas is a twin um his twin brother is already married and he says you know this is something that he's wanted for himself he's tied of being the third wheel on journey, on trips and on dinners and stuff. So he wants his own person. It seems the twins were adopted into a family where they had all the siblings, but then he says he's also got two biological siblings. So I didn't quite get the genetic makeup of that. Um, he seems like a very organized guy. He seems very anal about, you know, particular things like his suits have to be you know color coded it seems his ties have to be pattern coded his clothing everything has its own place so hopefully that doesn't become a stick in the mud but i'm hoping the fact that he has someone who knows him very well his twin he will be able to help him navigate his marriage i feel like looking at the couple so far i have hope for them i have hope i think they are my hopeful couple followed by I ikechi and emma so uh, we'll see how it goes and anyway when I watched the ladies on Love is Blind in Mexico talking about sex, I was mortified. <laughs> Maybe I'm a prude. But watching these brides-to-be and the grooms, oh my God, my jaw fell to the floor. And it took a while to pick it back up. Because obviously, first impressions, they're looking and sussing each other out. And the guys can see that Joan is very good looking and people like alan are surprised that he's in this process because they don't understand why he couldn't find a match in the real world so everybody goes through sort of why they're in the experiment everybody's saying they're there for the right reasons they really want a life partner and i would assume in your 30s you know what you want 
you know what you want. You're ready for marriage and you're coming into this saying to yourself, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it the right way and hopefully be the next, you know, Shanice and Jeffy, Brianna and Vincent, Doug and um, Jamie, Ashley and Anthony. So hopefully everybody lives up to what they're saying. But then the conversation switched. I don't know whether the producers gave them too much alcohol because it became about sex and about sex positions and... I was mortified. I was mortified. I have to give it to Alan because Alan said he doesn't want his wife's family knowing about, you know, what he intends to do to their daughter. Everybody else was game. Everybody else was, you know, talking. You even had one of the, well, Alan's bride, Madison, actually climbed onto the bar to demonstrate, but then she decided not to demonstrate because it seems she wasn't wearing any nicks. I don't understand people that go around flapping it everywhere as that grandma on, on social media says that, you know, just flapping about. At least put something on. At least put something on. You never know, especially if you're wearing white. But that's just my opinion. And it was nice to see the ladies actually bonding. I'm surprised, though, Emma, we didn't get to see her shop for her 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 her, bri her bridesmaid's dress. I don't know why. Even her husband to be, we didn't catch you. We didn't see him shop for his suit. It seems like they're both of Nigerian descent, so I don't know whether they were are planning on wearing something cultural, and this is why we didn't get to see it, but I would have loved to really see it. So first to get married are Camille and Thomas. I I have hope. I have hope, given sort of Thomas and how he's speaking. I hope Camilla is as serious about this marriage as well, because Thomas has his twin brother there, and he's addressing or discussing his concerns in regards to getting married he is worried about getting married to a stranger he's worried as to whether his wife will find him attractive and this is common for most people because you're marrying a stranger someone who hasn't seen you before so you don't know how they'll feel about you are they going to like how you look are they going to say you're not their type and so i, li I like that his brother was very reassuring and said you know your bride could be in the same position. She could be anxious as well and worried that, will you like her when you see her? So don't, you know, overthink it. Just know that she is in the same boat as you. She is just as worried as you are about whether you're going to like her or not. Um, and so I don't know how that comes up. Um, and then, um, you know, on her part, Camilla was speaking to her sister. She really wants this to work. She's very nervous. She hopes the guy's in it for the right reasons. She hopes she will like what he sees. And it's like, this is common. This is common. They're not saying, I hope he's my type. They're just saying, I hope he likes what he sees, which is different in most cases, whereby on marriage at first sight, you always get these people that say, oh, she's not my type. I hope she's got blue hair, blonde. No, 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 no. They're just saying, I hope I meet my person. I hope the person I meet at the end of the altar is someone that I like and someone that will like me. So I love that for them. And I really hope they work as a couple. I love that, you know, his adopted mother came in first and she got to see, you know, Thomas. Uh, he gave her a picture and I thought, this is too much for this poor woman. Why would they do this to her? So they gave her a picture of his dad and said, you know, so that you won't walk down the aisle on your own. It's a kind gesture, but it's also something that's heartbreaking because the boys were just crying prior to the mum walking in. So for her to walk in and start crying again, it's just tears. It's just waterworks. I think this is one of the first times or one of the few times I've seen the groom actually be or appear to be emotionally invested. So I hope he's as genuine as he comes across and I hope this really works for him. You have his biological mum also present and that was Ox Galore. She was excited to see her children, but at the same time, it's like, mm, this is awkward. This is awkward because um, how do we sort of play it out? Because you have all these people now sitting there and looking at each other. And if they don't get along, I hope, I hope the adopted mom knew that this was going to happen before it happened, because it would be, you know, very heartbreaking for her to suddenly see this woman sit there next to her. Um, I don't know. I can't wait. So I love, although the biological mom was there, I love the fact that when it came time to walk down the aisle, Thomas walked down the aisle with his adopted mom, the mom that raised him. Um, obviously, he said he's happy to have his mom and his bonus mom both there to sort of witness this momentous occasion for him. Um, his brother was excited for him, his twin brother, because his twin brother was saying, I'm a twin and I was hoping he would marry my wife's twin, but it didn't turn out that way. Um, 
And I was nervous for a moment when Camille sort of started panicking and sort of second guessing whether or not to walk down the aisle because I was thinking, is it a Michael situation? I don't think, you know, Thomas's family could handle this given the fact that they've been there and they're very committed and are very supportive of Thomas. So the idea that suddenly you would have, you know, her turn away, I was really scared, but I like the fact that her sister sort of sat down with her and sort of grounded her and sort of helped to sort of center herself until Camille was ready to walk down the aisle. Her dad came and walked her down the aisle. And aesthetically, looking at Camille and Thomas, I know there's a 10 year gap, but looking at them, you can't tell the age gap. And they look like a couple that have been dating for a while and a couple that have actually agreed to sort of say they want to get married. Aesthetically, they look amazing. They look amazing. I love them together. I really do. And I really want this for them. I hope they succeed. I loved their vows. I like how calm they were. There wasn't this showy off you or whatever. What's your name? What? No, they just greeted each other, stood there and went through their vows, which were amazing. I loved the glint that came into um, sort of Thomas's eyes as soon as he saw his bride. This is something I look for on marriage at first sight. I look at the groom's first reaction when he sees his bride it reminded me of um of vincent when he saw uh brianna it reminded me of that and i i have high hope for them i really do have high hope because i was a bit nervous but seeing them together seeing their vows and seeing how comfortable they were when it was time to kiss the bride i love it i love it i think they'll actually have a stand a fighting chance if you know the toxicity and the producers don't come in and cause a lot of tension and uproar i think this season they're going to be trying to sort of aim for genuine connections and to sh show the show in a positive light because they can't continue to have the toxicity that was on last season because a lot of people were put off by it so i hope if nothing else they allow the couples to have their journey that's uninterrupted uninterfered and that's authentically themselves the next wedding is Madison and Alan. Madison is 29, obviously. She's the youngest in the experiment this year. They've really tried to go for an older bunch. And so she's marrying Alan, who's 35. Um, she was raised by her dad. I think when their parents separated, she lost contact with her mom. So her dad has been her support system. She's worked really hard to get to where she is. You have, you know, Alan, who's also a child of divorce and has worked very hard to be a very successful young man. And so they are both successful in their own right, but they're both after marriage. And I don't know whether her age is going to sort of hinder her. Um, She seems very happy and she seems very committed. She seems very sort of in the moment. Uh, you really didn't see any anxious, any anxiety or any anxious moments. Um, She and Alan exchanged gifts. I thought it was very cute of Alan to try and sort of give a jokey sort of gimmicky gift and then give an actual, I th it looks like a Tiffany bag or something. Um. Alan, I'm sorry, but reminds me of someone I don't know who on previous seasons. If somebody remembers who, let me know. He liked his gift from his wife and the fact that she called herself wifey. Um, there was anxiety because he didn't know whether his dad would be showing up for him. He said he had extended an invite to his dad, but he wasn't sure if his dad was coming. Um, his concern was the fact that um, how his dad and mom would react around each other because they haven't seen each other since he graduated college. And so when he sat with his dad his mom wasn't there his mom came to walk down the altar with him uh you had you know with madison she spoke to her dad and her dad was really emotional because he doesn't know this man but he's having to sort of trust him with his daughter and he said i'm here to support you no matter what happens um her brother was there it was really cute and then it stopped when they were about to walk down the aisle i can't wait to see the reaction thomas's reaction when he sees his bride i really hope they have a very high success rate this season because there is a lot of potential there and i hope there's no un unnecessary drama as i continue to say anyway thanks guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and click the link in my video to watch my review from episode from last season um bye guys